Hey guys, Vic Swear, RoadDrew.com. I got one thing to say to you this morning. One thing. Raiders! Raiders! Yes, the Oakland Raiders won their first game of the season. It's, you know, growing up with the Oakland Raiders back when I was a kid, <coughs> they were the winningest team in sports, not just football. They were the winningest team in sports. That was quite the accomplishment. And then they imploded <laughs> over time. But when I was a kid, they couldn't lose. It was so awesome. The greatest, the greatest team ever. And then they moved to LA, everything fell apart. They came back, it wasn't the same. And now next year they're moving to Vegas. Whatever, you know, our Raider fans are numb to it <laughs> in Oakland. But we still root the team on and it was, they look good. They looked really good. I'm very excited about the Oakland Raiders' chances this year to win the Super Bowl in their last season in Oakland. Now, I did see the Las Vegas uh, uh, facility. It's a domed facility, and it's they spend like $1.8 billion, B with a billion, <laughs> on the facility. It's going to be unbelievable in Vegas. And what a destination point. I bet you every away team fan that plays the Raiders are, are going to plan some, hey, let's go to Vegas when we play the Raiders. Ah, uh, I can't wait. But this Raiders win. That's a great start to the season. And speaking of Vegas, yes, we have like 50 spots left at the Road to Ruta event. Um, if you want to go, it is it costs you one Litecoin, and just send me an email, bix at roadrooter.com. Those of you who have already signed up, I'm putting together a little flyer on uh, time and place and all that. We know the place, the Cosmopolitan. We know the time, kind of about 1 to 10, 1 in the afternoon to 10 at night. Uh, it's a full-day event. There's going to be speeches. There's going to be music. There's going to be playing. Um, due to the cost of the facility, which is ridiculous, um, we're not going to have dinner, but I'm working on sponsors for drink tickets and things like that. There will be a bar, but you got to pay for drinks, and I'm looking for sponsors. <clears throat> Any of you crypto companies with money to throw around and want to sponsor a round of drinks for the Road to Ruta Litecoin event, you'll get your name on the drink ticket and your advertisement and all that. So contact me, Bix, at RoadToRuta.com. And if you want to go, hurry up, get your request in, and I will be sending out more information. There won't be tickets. At the door will be your name and your email address, and just show your ID and you're in, and then we'll get, we're going to have uh, bracelets for everybody and swag. Is that what you call it? Swag? Something like that? Very excited. Very excited. Um, because Litecoin is absolutely the right coin, the right place, the right time. Now, I don't know what's going to happen to the <clears throat> global economic system between now and then. Uh, things are not looking good. They are not looking good. Everything is pushing towards the destruction of the derivative bomb. So who the hell knows? I don't even know if this thing's going to go on, truthfully. If the world falls apart, <laughs> Vegas is probably off. But the odds on, Ve on the world falling apart, I put it today at there's a 1% there's a chance every day and a 3% chance tomorrow. Tomorrow being 9-11. It'll be 11 years to the day that uh, the economic system was, they, the computer economic system was almost defunct. And there was an attack, a run on the banks is what they called it, pulled out $550 billion out of the uh, money market funds. And then it wasn't until the next week that we heard about it. I don't know if anything's going to happen tomorrow uh, but it's more likely than any other day in the next, say, between now and the end of the year. So that's my take on it. Um, but definitely there are things on the, in the works to destroy the old system and start something new. My hope is that after 100 years of planning this transition, the powers that be um, that control our lives have a plan after the crash. Where are we going to go from there? And hopefully it's fairly smooth. Uh, I do believe it involves cryptocurrencies. I do believe uh, there may be a gold component in there. I don't believe silver because I think silver is way too valuable to be used as money. We need silver in different places and um, if you use it as money, everybody's just going to pull it out of the system. 
uh, Gresham's Law. So, where does that leave us? That leaves us right here, sitting here, saying, okay, something's going to happen. We don't know what's going to happen over the next, say, 90 days, but something big. I was reading a article on the sudden um, uh, flipping and flopping of the stock market yesterday. Some really odd things were going on. I'll talk about that later today. Um, maybe a precursor for the rest of the month. September's going to be a big month. It's also the end of the fiscal year for the United States of America, which is a big deal. Um, so what do I see happening between now and the end of the year? Not a one day collapse thing, but a continued degradation of an already weak system. And then the computers come out and you know, that's the whole work behind the road to Ruta. The road to Ruta was all about the computer programs, rigging the system, the invention of the electronic financial system. Ruta, root A is a programming term in Fortran that Alan Greenspan used back in the 60s and 70s to write the first financial programs to invent the system. He blames himself partially for Y2K. So is the computer system, computers and derivatives and computer trading, is it a big deal? It is the biggest deal. It is the number one biggest deal. And somewhere along the line, we turned into an electronic financial system, probably in the 80s. And that uh, system is extremely fragile, <laughs> extremely fragile. So I do, I, I think we are gonna have uh, another computer generated collapse as per uh, 1987, 2001, two, uh, 2008. All of those were computer generated, but this one's gonna be bigger than ever before. This is the, the final chance to destroy the old system without the bad guys taking over our lives. So good luck to all of us. I, I have to say good luck to all of us. Um, just keep an open heart, keep an open mind and prepare yourself as in just get your assets in your own possession. So important, especially in cryptos. We won't know if, if the, we do have a financial collapse, we won't know the price of cryptos. We won't know the price of gold. We won't even know what to price it in. That's how big this is. So yes, in that scenario, there probably won't be a Vegas event. There are no refunds, mind you. I've already paid for it. So yeah, there are no refunds on this Vegas event. And I, I'm very clear about that in the, in the email I send out. So just take that in mind, keep that in mind. Um, not that I'm saying don't don't spend a Litecoin to come to the event. The odds of a collapse happening in the next, you know, what is that, two months are very low. I, like I said, 1% a day, 3% tomorrow. <laughs> no, that is not scientific. That's just a mentality. That's the way I, I, I think about it. The odds of a collapse on any given day, given our current situation, the odds of a collapse starting are about 1% per day right now. And they weren't, weren't always like that. They probably were like that from mid 2007 to 2008 when the collapse did happen and then it gets down to are we going to bail out the banks if we're not going to bail out the banks then everything shuts down if we are going to bail out the banks nothing is fixed just like in 2008 nothing was fixed and if you saw my uh, live discussion about jp morgan's derivatives uh that i posted yesterday in the first quarter of 2009 they increased their derivative position by 11 trillion dollars 11 trillion dollars first quarter of 2019 and the second quarter report is coming out any day now from the occ let me say it again 11 trillion dollars how is that sound uh where's the oversight on that where's the federal reserve oversight of jp morgan increasing their derivative position from 48 trillion to $59 trillion in the first quarter of 2019. What could go wrong, right? What could go wrong? It's like the credit default swaps. What could go wrong, Blythe Masters? Um, an interesting note in that OCC report, it's credit default swaps are the only category that's really gone down since 2008. Everything else through the roof. Um, and the biggest is interest rate swaps. That's what's gonna take down the system next time. And that's about, uh, I don't even know how much bigger it is. I would say 
100 times bigger than Credit Default Swaps? Why do you think Germany, uh, why do you think Deutsche Bank CEO Sewing came out and said, oh my God, we can't have negative interest rates. It's destroying the banking system. Why? Because they have trillions and trillions of dollars in interest rate derivatives. Voila, there you have the mixings for a, an electronic crash of the system. I've been talking about it since, since I discovered the Road to Ruta documents on January 1st, 2007. That's how long I've been discussing this. Anyway, keep your eye out, uh, hunker down, try to stay around home if you can. <laughs> Who knows what's going to happen over the next 90 days, but it'll be exciting. And if, they, if nothing happens, then we still have the same problems. They just grow bigger and bigger as evidenced in J.P. Morgan's derivative book. This is Big Swear. RoadToRuda.com. If you like this video, like and subscribe. And you guys have a good day.